Hello, this is Dr. Simon, cardiologist. Today is January 9, 2021. Yesterday I made a video talk about why Spain government approved using ozone therapy on COVID-19 patient. And in that video, I read out directly from article talk about uh, pharmacological property of ozone therapy. Today, I got a lot of feedback and people complained that they really confused them. They don't understand what I'm talking about. So today I make a, a brief video and uh, give you a little bit layman's way explanation about what happens when you take ozone therapy. Ozone is O3, oxygen is O2. Ozone is produced by lighting or ultraviolet radiation. And this is a very powerful formation, so therefore a lot of energy is installed in the bond when the three atoms of oxygen form into an unstable molecule. When ozone gets into your body, the ozone will interact with uh, uh, something have uh, two bonds in between the atoms, something like a polyunsaturated fat, fatty acid. And they form the different kind of uh, molecules called ozonides. Ozonides then uh, interact and form hydroperoxide. People are all familiar with hydroperoxide. Uh, hydroperoxide have uh, many properties and uh, people know that hydroperoxide have antioxidant uh, property and, and can interact uh, working with uh, degenerative process on and or ischemic process. And also uh, ozone, when you get into the body, have a different ways. One is uh, can stimulate Hormoral on the cellular immune activity. Uh, hormonal activity like uh, antibody formation and the cellular immune activity like uh, from different kind of uh, cells like uh, nature killing cells and the macrophage, lymphocytes, all these cells have uh, immune response activities. Uh, so when you get the coronavirus infection, the coronavirus actually self cannot survive outside the cell. So they have to try very hard getting into your cell. Once they get into your cell, then they will replicate so they can more of themselves. Then they release from your cell and uh, working in your system and uh, stimulate uh, the inflammation process. And we call it an inflammation cascade. So therefore, uh, this ozone have worked in several different ways. Number one, it was trying to block the COVID virus entering into the cell. So in the cell, there is a receptors called ACE2 receptor, and ozone can work on that to block its uh, entry into the cell. Second of all, ozone can work on the replication process. So making the cell not possible replicate themselves, I mean virus not possible replicate themselves. One of the process uh, which we know in 
working on sixteen residuals and form what they call the bi sulfide bridge. And those things can make the cysteine become uh, break down. So in order to have a normal cell viral activity, these cysteine has to be very, very, has to be intact. Uh, the main of the problem, the ozone cause to it is uh, make the cell not able to replicate themselves by working on the system. And the uh, COVID virus are reaching in system. So I hope this uh, explained to you about how the ozone works on the antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and uh, also the degenerative cascade. So those are very important for you to understand um, what has happened when you take ozone, why it's effective for you to use the, against the uh, COVID-19 infection. And uh, in the end, I'd like to show you what I have here. And uh, if I turn the, this around, you will see uh, uh, something here. One is oxygen. Another thing is uh, called ozone generator. And then we make a ozone water, and this is a ozone oil. So I have this. I have much bigger one in my office, have a more potent uh, ozone generator. This all these systems work together to treat my patient, but also I treat myself and my family at home. So that's how I make it work. I hope that's uh, clear up some concept and show you this is very cool stuff. Thank you.